Chun is a tech entrepreneur in Beijing, with more than 2,000 people working for him across China. But success hasn't come easy. He was born blind. Growing up, my greatest wish was to be like my friends. My teacher told me it would never be possible because I cannot see. I transferred to a school for the blind. There was less pressure, but after graduating, I couldn't find a job anywhere besides a blind massage parlor. It was exhausting, but there was no choice. Tao saved up to start a business of his own, making apps to help blind people text and walk, with the help of many blind employees. At first, though, no one invested. When they saw I was blind, people walked out of interviews. They didn't think working for a company managed by a blind person had a future. But by cooperating with Baidu, China's biggest search engine, business is now expanding. China's new leaders are now undertaking sweeping reforms to rebalance the country's economy and include more people in it. But when it comes to getting a job, millions of China's disabled citizens are still being left behind. Official data shows by the end of last year, just over 22 of the more than 82 million disabled Chinese had a job, and among those who did, most were in the countryside. China has taken steps to close the gap, setting up a quota that demands employers reserve at least 1.5% of all jobs for disabled workers, but many prefer to pay the fine. Today, there are still many problems for disabled people getting jobs in China. Often their skills, training or education are very different. Companies are also less willing to hire them because they worry about many things. For one, they can't be fired as easily because the firm's reputation may suffer. Despite this, Cao is optimistic. I hope that through new technology, more blind people can leave the hardships of living darkness behind. I hope we can bring them light and the new ways of finding work. Grace Brown, CCTV, Beijing.